Ray, this is your mother. Your father and I are taking you out of our will. We feel you already have enough money. Oh, yes, and happy birthday. It stinks. I saw your show the other night, son. Doing the weather now, are you? No, Dad. That was the thermometer. So, my boy, do you think it'll snow tomorrow? I don't know. Well, we sure could use some snow. Had the chains on since July. My father had a stroke a few years ago. He didn't really. We just say that to explain his personality. The peanut is neither a pea nor a nut. So, I hear you're an actress. Oh, wait. It is a nut. I remember my first date. Your mother never looked lovelier. And there's an interesting story behind this prom photo. Mother, you've been belittling me my whole life, and now I've got to say it. Shut up! Shut up, shut up, shut up! <laughs> you are a disgrace to this family. Now, who wants to boogie with Baby 37? Shut up, shut up, shut up! Hey, little buddy, I got one question. Why in a show designed to prove your warmth did you chew out your mama in front of a hundred million viewers? That's what you ask about. No questions about the old man in the diaper? I thought he was cute. Till the diaper dropped. Well, I think Reeves adorable, and if you won't go to the ball with him, I will. What about me? I was just going to give you some rubber bands to play with, but if you want to, you can come. Oh, I could have had rubber bands. No, wait, I have something to say. Oh, God, Franklin, she'll embarrass us. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I was wondering if you could tell me about the day I was adopted. Oh, I remember it well. You had the cutest little arms and legs and a, a detachable headrest. And... Oh, no, wait, that was the day we picked out this chair. Oh, oh but isn't it the cutest thing? Coochie, coochie, coo. Oh, you've gotten so big. Now you run to that lighthouse and back, and I will time you. We found him lying by the side of the ocean. We're doing our dandas to keep him moist. My son is not a whale. Oh, whatever he is, he just ate a bucket of chum. I've been working day and night trying to find a cure. Nothing. Your father is conducting an experiment of his own. Maybe you two can work together. <laughs> What is the point of this experiment? I've invented the first Fishmo Baby Whirlamig gig. It'll be bigger than the Badger Blaster. Welcome to Coming Attractions. I'm Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and this is Little Nuthead. This is so demeaning. I have a PhD in film. Okay, Dr. Nuthead, why don't you sing John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt while I drink a glass of water? John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt that's my name, too. I spit in the water. <laughs> Nuthead!
Didn't we used to have a knothead doll? That was our son. Uh, perhaps you'd like to see all the people who are filing a claim. Sherman sucks. Where's our bus? Sherman sucks. Where's our bus? Mom? Dad? I never made you laugh? Well, I did chuckle a bit when you tried to eat that bird and fell over the cliff. No, Franklin, that was the road runner. No, that was me. Look, don't panic. Remember how insecure you were when you graduated from college? Dad, you've always been sort of like a father to me. What do you think I should do with my life? Oh, that's a good question, son. Now, here's one for you. They're called fingers, and yet they don't fing. Noodle that one for a while. Jay, I just want to say one word. Trucking. And I have one word for you too, son. Snapple. Oh, Dad, you and your nonsense words. I don't want to go to your school. You have to go. We've given them so much money. They even have a statue of your father. There's a reason there's a banana in my ear. I'm trying to lure the monkey out of my head. Franklin, my life is an endless gray corridor. Mmm, I've been there too. Usually there's a midget making googly eyes at me. I call him Mr. Piccolini. I can't remember the last time I was happy. My dear, it breaks my heart to hear you talk this way. If there's an answer, I shall find it. I swear. I say, Wilson, my wife is terribly depressed. What do you think she should do? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. My dear, I think you should rivet. Rivet, rivet. Franklin, this just isn't working out. Forget the rivets, darling. Crazy glue will hold any surface together. It's crazy! Mrs. Sherman, you remind me of another first-time author. His name was Dr. Seduce, and his raunchy children's classic Morton Hears His Neighbors in Bed made us millions. Uh, the bottom line, Mrs. Sherman, is that I am buying your book. Oh, that's wonderful. Franklin, did you hear? Oh, hot diggity, it's a pop-up book. What the... Shut up! I'm not the character from the book. What book? Oh, Franklin, people loved my book. My life has purpose again. Oh, Wilson, my wife is happy again. Ooh. My wife, Eleanor. 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 Ooh. Ooh. My wife, Eleanor. Ooh, ooh. That pig of yours is all over the country. Oh, how wonderful. It's not wonderful. Look. Good news, son. I found the perfect mate for you. Her name is Barbie, and she's from Malibu. Now, she has a boyfriend named Ken, but he's not much of a man. I checked. Mom, your book is ruining my life. Well... I guess it's a happy ending. Yeah, but it's not happy enough. Mm.